Number 53. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate the Ka for each of the weak acids and the Kb for each of the weak bases. Okay, and then we have letter A. So in this case, they told us that we're starting off with CH3CO2H, and they told us that it has an H3O plus concentration, a CH3CO2 minus concentration, and then the CH3CO2H concentration. Okay, so the first thing is, we have to figure out whether we're going to find out a Ka or a Kb. And the answer arises in what you produce. Since they told us that we are producing H3O+, remember H3O+, is hydronium. If you produce hydronium in a solution, this would be a acid. And this might look very similar to you. This is acetic acid. Now, in order to find out what's going on, we should write a balanced equation. So remember, these acids are in water, right? Water is the universal solvent for acids and bases. So what I'm going to say is we have CH3, and maybe I'll put it over here. So I have CH3CO2H plus H2O. Now this is a weak acid. It's not one of my six strong acids, so it's in equilibrium. Remember, the acid will drop a hydrogen, and the base will give a hydrogen, right? It will take a hydrogen. So that's why we form ch 3 CO2 minus, that's this guy, and then the H2O becomes H3O plus, that's hydronium. So we're at this stage. Now, let's just write out the concentrations that are given. Well, they told us that we had an H3O plus concentration of 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity, okay? They told us that we had an acetate concentration of the same number, so 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity. And then the acetic acid, they told us, was 9.866 times 10 to the negative 2 molarity. Now the question is, well, how much water is there? Well, remember, water is a liquid. So when we're talking about K values, equilibrium constants, water doesn't matter. So we don't include that in our equation. All the other ones are aqueous, therefore we take them into consideration. Now, for here, we know that it's an acid, so we're searching for a Ka value. A stands for acid. And the Ka equation is kind of like the Kc or Kp equation that you saw last chapter, where it's just products divided by the reactants. So, and, re and remember, no liquids or gases allowed. So I'm not going to put water in my equation. So Ka equals something over something, products over reactants. So it would be the CH3CO2 minus, that's the acetate, times, and this is a little wonky, times the H3O plus all over your acid, CH3CO2H. Let's put in some actual numbers. So I'll just put the brackets first and then I'll put them in different colors. Let's see if I could do this. Okay, so here are the brackets. So the acetate was the 1.34 times 10 to the negative three. Same thing goes for this one, 1.34 times 10 to the negative three. And then this one is 9.866 times 10, let's just bring this out a little bit, times 10 to the negative second. Okay, and then I'm just going to calculate. So Ka equals calci time. I could do this all in one shot. 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 times 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3. So that's squared. Right, same number squared, divided by 9.866 times 10 to the negative second. And for sig figs, I have 3 as my lowest, so I'll say 1.82. 1.82 times 10 to the negative fifth. And remember, Ka values do not have units, so this would be the answer.
Okay, and as you can see, this is a weak acid. The Ka value is less than 1, so you're not really going to dissociate too much. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out or not, and I will see you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.